Okay guys, so you guys said I would not do this in economy. I'm 100% doing this in economy. We're gonna do this right now. Full on, full glam, on the plane. We're doing this. The first thing I'm gonna start with, and I'm gonna go ahead and roll it up in these sleep rollers. Yes, I have no shame, but I can see people looking at me. <laughs> Hey, look at this cutie pie. She's super cute on the plane. The first thing I'm going to use is this Holika Holika Baby Pet Magic Mask Sheet. You know, you guys said I wouldn't do it, so I thought I'd go super extra and be even more insane on the plane. And I'm also going to use this lip mask from Sephora and also a hand mask from Sephora. All these things are super, super over the top. And I thought because you guys were challenging me, I like a challenge. I didn't leave it on super long because I was super cold where I was, but I am trying to rub in all the excess product on my hand. Check out my nails. I actually really like these nails. I hope you guys like them too. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and remove the face mask as well. Keep in mind, if you're gonna be doing full glam, if you're gonna be using sheet mask, make sure you guys grab a lot of paper towels so you can clean yourself off in between. The next thing I'm gonna use is, this is a Touch of Violet C Radiant Mask. This is really great. It has like green tea and algae in it. It's super great for your skin. It leaves your skin really radiant. It's super anti-aging, which I like on the plane as well. And I'm just putting it all over to make sure my skin it's gonna be really nice and plump and hydrated and glowy when I arrive. I feel like a little bit like a purple Oopa Loopa. And I did grab a wet towel and I always take these as well when I need to do any type of masks or anything. I just keep it with me. I'm using it now to wipe off everything on my face. I'm now just gonna go ahead and shave my face. And for a lot of people who ask me where I got the razor, I got it from the bathroom. I started to feel really silly because a lot of guys were like, hey, that's my razor. <laughs> yes, I shaved like a man. And now I'm just gonna add some hydration back into my skin. This is a SkinCeuticals Firming Lotion that I like love so much. And applying this all over. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this eye cream I actually got from the Blue Lagoon in Iceland. And since I'm on a plane and I can't really use any cream or liquid foundations, I'm just gonna use a stick. And this is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Stick. It's really great for on the go. I don't have a lot of space for brushes, so I'm just gonna use this sponge and kind of bounce it all over my face. Bounce, 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 bounce. This is gonna give me a really nice kind of beautiful, radiant look and also blend everything in really nice and seamlessly. I'm also gonna use the Overachiever Concealer. It's my favorite concealer. Super full coverage, so you can also blend this into your foundation when you're on the go, and I do that a lot when I'm on the go. And I'm applying it in areas where I need a little highlight, and I'm gonna go back in with my sponge and blend and bounce away. And some people started coming. I started to get a little bit of a crowd. Started to feel a little silly, but it's okay. Anything for you guys. No, legit, look, we had 20 people there, <laughs> and it started feeling a little silly. I'm now just gonna go ahead and bake. Remember guys, when you're on the plane, the air is really drying. It like sucks out all the moisture from your skin. So you wanna make sure you don't bake too long. I baked a little too long. We hit some really bad turbulence at this point and luckily everybody had to go back to their seats cause it was pretty bad. So the audience was gone, which is nice. But I also had a hard time doing the brows. They were shaking a lot. I was trying to keep it steady. It was actually really, really bad at some points. I'm using the L'Oreal brow pencil and now I'm using the Lime Crime liquid pencil just to kind of add like some hairs and add a little depth and try to keep it as steady as possible with the turbulence. I don't know what happened. We were hitting some pockets of air. And now I'm using our new Melted Shadows. I actually grabbed the wrong color because I couldn't see it in my makeup bag. This is the Bubble Bath and Pink Champagne. I started to realize it was the wrong color as I started applying it on, but I didn't think I brought the other one. So I was kind of bummed but the shimmer is super, super beautiful. And again, remember these can also be used as a full glam, full look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply painting on a really nice crease here. And now I'm gonna go in with a liner and the turbulence got really bad when we hit <laughs> the liner area, of course. This is the Man Eater Liner from Tarte. This is actually a really easy liner to, to create a cat liner and wig liner. So I'm glad I have this one with me, especially when the turbulence is so bad. I was shaking like from both sides. It was really bad. I hope it's straight. It might be a little bumpy. I'm now just going to go ahead and blend out that baking powder, which I left on a little too long. I would recommend like a minute max when you're on a plane. I left it on for like 10, a little too long. I'm just, I don't have a bronzer with me, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of that darker foundation um, in areas that I want to look recessed. So um, inside my cheekbones, along my hairline, and now I'm just gonna use the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit to kind of blacken my lashes. Cause we wanna go full glam, we're not leaving any steps untouched. And I'm so happy I found my Shimmering Sunset Private Jet 
melted shadow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that into my crease and I put a little too much on, but it's okay. I'm gonna go to immigration and arrive so glam and they're gonna think I'm a crazy person, which I, that's usually my MO, so this is perfect. All right, and I'm blending that out and you can see there's no powder shadow. We just have the melted shadow and it looks really, I think it looks really pretty. I'm super happy with the way this looks, especially with the turbulence. And this face, guys, this is the worst face I've ever seen. I did not know I did this face until seeing this video now. Now I'm gonna use this derma roller. It's super tiny, and super tiny needles, which is how I got it through on the plane, and it has a red light, so this is just gonna add a lot of plumpness to my lips, especially when you're traveling. I'm also gonna try to put a little lip balm on, just a small coat, and then I'm going to line my lips. I am gonna use a darker lipstick, but I like to shape out where I wanna apply it, because there's some areas where my lips are missing pigment. Now I'm applying some lashes, yes, full glam on the plane yes this is exactly what i want to give you guys i think i went even more full glam than i did last time so everyone is going to do it here you go and now i'm just going to apply this chubby stick the dior blush cheek stick which is really nice because it's a little dewy and it's actually perfect for on the go and i'm just blending it out with the bottom of my sponge and i think it makes me look really happy which i like i like to look like cute and happy <laughs> It's really cute. And now I'm going to apply the lipstick. This is our new Huda Beauty Metallic Power Bullet in NYE. It is super, super pigmented, super metallic. It's a little bit of a vampy red lip, and I like that. And I'm just going to apply some mascara on the bottom lash line. Of course, turbulence hit a little bit more. I just realized I forgot to bring my nose contour. <gasps> ah! I'm improvising right now, so I'm using my brow product and blending it in with foundation, mixing the two. It kind of worked to contour my nose. And now, um, I didn't tell you guys beforehand, I have a lot of grease in my hair because I did not wash it. So that is making the curls look really, really good. I actually got the, cur got the roller stuck in my hair at this point. So uh, I think I ripped out some hair, but it's okay. For everybody who said I wouldn't do the glam, here you go. And I think I deserve a crown for this look. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. Make sure you guys please check us out on Instagram and everywhere else. Subscribe and put that hit that ringer bell, that notification bell, and we'll see you guys next time. Love you guys so much.